Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about this little Flashfish portable solar generator that I picked up. It's a 330 watt hour that you can charge off of a solar panel. I've discovered that uh, with a Y cable I can take two solar panels and I can actually uh, power it off of two at a time. So one panel is 60, the other is 50, and I'm definitely not using focus here, but you can see the Y cable puts them together and even when it's not so sunny outside, I'm getting 62 watts, which is about the top this uh, solar generator allows you to uh, charge at any given time. Uh, works great, though. Um, I'll put some links in the description uh, on how to get this uh, Y cable and the solar panels and also the generator. So here you can see the unit uh, running a little portable fan, uh, putting out quite a bit of power or quite a bit of air on high and it's only pulling 27 watts. If you do the math, 27 watts for a 330 watt hour uh, generator, you should get easily 10 hours. Um, and I have used this quite a bit to power my laptop away from home, sometimes with a solar panel, sometimes without. Works really, really well. You'd be very surprised how well these things work. We had a power outage and I actually powered my refrigerator for most of the day with this thing. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind with these units, you want to make sure you get a unit that can charge while you're using it, like this one can. Some of the smaller ones cannot. You have to charge or you can use. You can't do both at the same time. So the question I keep getting asked is, what good is a solar generator when your power goes out overnight? Well, that happened to me, and this was fully charged. It had a capacity of 330 watt hours with no sun, but... The trick is, how can you increase that 330 watt hours? And I believe I have found a pretty uh, simple solution that most people can do. Most solar generators will come with a cable that you can plug into your car cigarette lighter to charge. But at 12 volts, I can tell you, it's going to take a week to charge this thing. So I was thinking, hey, the solar panel is an 18 volt output. So are my drill batteries. Somebody pretty industrious person on uh, Amazon actually is selling these 3D printed uh, caddies for uh, drill batteries. And I'll include a link in the description, but uh, you know, drill battery is 18 volts, just like the solar panel. Uh, here we have a lithium ion, four amp hour rigid battery. And when you connect it to this, you can actually uh, put on a in connector that works with your uh, solar generator. And I used wire nuts. That's why there's such a large <laughs> chunk of tape on there. But this will actually increase your, uh, your battery. It's charging while you're using. If you have multiple batteries available, you get even extra life. The, uh, the four amp hours doesn't add up to a whole lot of time, but it adds up to extra time that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Happy camping, everyone. I hope this has helped. I hope you get a little extra life out of your solar generator, and I hope you have a fun time out there.